Handle me and see. Because anything he's done before, he can do again. If he's ever brought you victory before, he can do it again. If he's ever set you free before, he can do it again. If he's ever opened doors for you, he can do it again. If he's ever healed your body, he can do it again. Anything that he's done before, he can do again. Three things, or two or three, depending on how long I feel like preaching. Number two, anything he's done anywhere else, he can do it right here because he's standing right here. The Holy Spirit through the eyes of faith are standing in every church right at the front of it. And he's saying, come handle me and see what I can do with that family. See what I can do with that mistake. See what I can do with that bad choice. See what I can do with that, with that busted marriage. See what I can do. And anything he's done anywhere else, he can do it here. Recently, I heard of a missionary who said these words in a word of prophecy. We believe in prophecy, by the way. Not weirdness, but prophecy is a biblical gift and prophetic words can change your life. I may be giving you one now. And this man who had been a missionary for many years said these words, Thus says the Lord, I will send the overseas revival to America. You know, you hear all these stories of miracles and signs and wonders, and it's happening. I've been, to, I've seen them. It's unreal because the, the people, nation, some of them are so poor. They have to trust God. And, but God, God said to this missionary, America's been too faithful. They've been too to giving. They've lifted the whole world and preached the gospel. And now that our nation is in trouble and we are in trouble, but anything that God has done anywhere else, he can do it right here. And I do believe that we're good and ready and right for a revival in America. Like our minds can he still got his hand saying, hey, broken America, divided America, come handle me and see. I still got good things for this nation. I still want to take you to places that you never dreamed you could go, America. Dirt is dirt. I love going to the Holy Land, but the only reason they call it the Holy Land is because the Holy One was there. And he's not there anymore. He went to heaven. And then he sent the Holy Ghost to earth. And I'll always love to take a group. And when you go, all the guides will tell you and all I will tell you. I'll stand in those sites and I'll say, this is where he opened the blind eyes. And this is where he performed this miracle. And this is where he was when he did that. All they can do is tell you where Jesus was. But I can tell you where he is. He's here right now. And anything he's ever done anywhere else, he can do it right here. He can do it right there. He can do it in that living room. He can do it in that hospital room. He can do it in that jail cell. He can do it in this sanctuary. He can do it in your marriage and in your family and in your body. Because anything he's done before, he can do it again. And anything he's done anywhere else, he can do it right here. And anything he's done for anybody else, he can do it for you. We, uh, we used to sing a song in the old sanctuary over here on Browns Bridge Road. On a Sunday night when the service would get red hot. and We'd be crammed in there, hundreds and hundreds of us. and No room to hardly breathe. And I can remember those services. And there was a song we used to sing. It's an old Pentecostal song. And one of those Pierce boys, we grabbed a microphone. Little David's choir would be up there. And they'd start singing a song. And here's the words to it. 
well, and all of a sudden the drums go, and the bass, the piano, he's God in New York City, he's God in Tennessee, he's God right here at Free Chapel, bum, he's God all over me, and everybody starts shouting, ah! and the place would go crazy. Well, I'm ready to see it again. He's God in New York City. He's God in Tennessee. He's God right here at Free Chapel. He's God all over me. I know God is God and God won't ever change. I know God is God and he always will be God. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. Handle me and see. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you can get notifications on new posts and live streams. Be sure to share this video with a friend. You never know how you can send the Word of God right when somebody needs to hear it. And you can use your social influence for good, for the glory of God. Thanks again. Share it with a friend. And I really appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.